What's up, everybody? Let's talk a little bit about the Frank Tufano freak show and his machinations. Look, I know, I know, I know, I know. But what you have to understand is that this channel is not about me, never was about me, and will likely never be about me, right? Anyway, this is about Frank. Now look, I don't necessarily have a problem with the individual that is Frank. I mean, he's just a dime a dozen modern day degenerate, right? Illuminati whore and doesn't even know it. What I do have a problem with is how gullible the rest of you are. Those that are. I know a lot of you see right through this Tufano bullshit and props to you, but there are a lot of people out there who, for whatever reason, are too deaf, dumb, and blind, or have numbed themselves so much that they just don't see what's right in front of their eyes. <clears throat> Like, for example, I heard somebody say recently that Frank's sexuality is none of our business. <laughs> like, how fucking blind can you be? Why do you say such ridiculous things? I mean, he's got to be as narcissistic as they get, right? Every single goddamn video in one way or another is about Frank. So many of his videos are sexually charged, right? Whether he's showing you a half-naked vegan girl or dragging another man into a cave with sausages to do you-know-what with him. Or manipulating, photoshopping photos of the so-called carnivores um, doing it, right? Just about every single video, when it comes to Frank, is about him and or sexually charged right i mean he has he's performing sexual acts if only with himself in a public forum for everyone to see but his sexuality is not of anyone's business like i know a lot of people will say that i speak too slowly for them but that's because i think before i speak try it any fucking who, way, hey. <laughs> oh, you know, I can't really say that I have been watching Frank for years because I'm only subscribed for the thumbnails, man. And the cringe, the awesome and hilarious cringe of, you know, him thinking that he is God's gift to people who have a sex drive. Male or female, right? Like, dude, you're so mediocre. You're so average in everything that you do that it's really... It is so not impressive, Frank. So not impressive. Anyway, I no longer watch his videos. Here and there, I'll check one out. But as soon as I turn it on, I just want to vomit. I mean, the guy's just repulsive. It, it, and it's not his looks, really, even though that has become part of it. Because I used to watch Frank. That is the point I'm trying to get to. A lot. And I was watching him when he had not even a thousand subscribers. Okay? And I used to like Frank. He was cool. I mean, he was the same guy, basically, physically. But... He did not present himself in the same way he does these days. And that has really turned me off. Um, he's really become repulsive as a person or, you know, really, let's keep it real, an actor. And that has somehow made all of him repulsive. His face, his eyes, his body, all of it just became repulsive to me all of a sudden. Whereas I didn't really care about any of that before because he was cool or I thought he was. Once he started what I believe to be acting and manipul manipulating people, he, 
and you know obviously the the this like delusion of him thinking that he's somehow special or or you know like just 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 a narcissism it just became it just got to a point where it got it got to be too much and definitely repulsive okay so Frank, if you don't understand why people don't want to put you on, well, you being repulsive has a lot to do with that. And, you know, I, I'm not sure. I, I think he does get it. And I think he's just manipulating people for the most part. Look, I don't know when this was, maybe a couple of years ago or so, when Frank was just talking about carnivore diet in his grandma's house in the kitchen. And, and you know, he still had a shirt on. And he was more or less normal. You could tell there was something weird about the kid. You know, he had those weird eyes. He was really pale and lethargic. He didn't have any energy. But he had good information and, and it was cool. I like this channel. And then one day he erased all of his videos and came back with some bullshit story about what had happened, how... He didn't want it to close his channel because he didn't have any credibility and this and that. And, you know, he gave you this fake puppy eyes looking like he was about to cry. <clears throat> right then and there, I realized the guy was a manipulator. That's when I realized that Frank decided to start acting and bullshitting, basically. So... What had happened, in my opinion, is he erased a lot of the evidence of him not having been carnivore for six years. And some of that evidence is still out there. I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? I mean, he has a video after his jaw surgery talking about what he eats, and hardly anything he's eating is, you know, within the parameters of the so-called carnivore diet, at least as he defines it. And <laughs> let's be frank... I mean, he is the only one who knows what the carnivore diet is, of course, right? But he kept enough evidence out there for people to be able to question that, right? And make videos about it and talk about Frank and, you know, put him on and popularize his bullshit, basically, right? I mean, he kept dropping clues of just how gay he was, or also gay, while at the same time, you know attacking gays and making fun of gays and acting like eating nothing but plants automatically means you're gay, right? Basically projecting, yeah? Yeah? I mean, he, he was talking about and crying and complaining how nobody wants to put him on their podcast or show or channel or whatever, right? While at the same time never putting anybody that was anybody on his own channel right he never gave anybody any anybody who is like serious about this youtube shit and advancing in this sick and twisted um portal i guess he never gave any of those people any shine right but while at the same time complaining that no one puts him on when if i remember correctly he was on Sean Baker's podcast. He was on um, with Dr. Dr. Berg after he insulted him and attacked him, right? Dr. Berg put him on, I believe. Like he's He's been put on by more people than he chose to put on. And I ain't talking about some ex-vegan that he interviewed here and there or some crazy bitch who, you know, was trying to stir up drama to, to become a YouTube sensation. <laughs> Oh, God, what a sick and twisted fucking world. That's a big reason why I've been staying away from this shit, man, because it's just degeneracy abounds over here, man. But anyway, <clears throat> he's basically projecting, right? Saying how people won't put him on when, in reality, he wouldn't put anybody on, and he would just attack people, right? Saying how... First thing he said about Michaela Peterson that I remember was that she's a dumb bimbo, 
Dr. Sean Baker was doing carnivore, right? And he was on steroids and just everybody is wrong and he's the only one that's right, right? He just right off the bat, he would attack not just vegans, but these so-called carnivores, right? The buff dudes butcher the carnivore diet. It's just a lot of negativity coming from this dude. A lot of personal attacks, just bashing people left and right. That's That's what he's best at, right? But then he turns around and complains that nobody likes him. Well, is he really that deluded? Like, really? Really? This is this is God's gift to people with the sex drive? This right here? This? Are you fucking kidding me? This sickly looking individual? This master manipulator? Really? This This is it? This is it. So, <clears throat> while he is shoving things up his anus and, you know, getting his face creamed by other men, he's talking about how all these other people are gay. And by the way, for <laughs> all the people who attack me for saying exactly, for, for, for talking about exactly that which Frank is, right? And not mincing any words, basically. For those of you who attack me with this, you know, homophobe newspeak, first of all, why is a little twink to be anything to be afraid of? Like, for starters. Secondly, how is it homophobic to talk about what it is that a gay guy does explicitly? How is that homophobic? And if you think such a thing as homophobia exists, actually... And that's a dubious claim. Anyway, aren't you the one who's homophobic by having uh, this knee-jerk negative reaction being repulsed by what it is that I'm saying that gay men do, that Frank does, right? Weren't, like, if it's not, why is it not okay, to, in other words, to talk about what it is that he does, actually, if... If being gay is something that one should be proud of, or at the very least not ashamed of, why is it not okay to talk about it exactly for what it is? Why why do you have this negative reaction to that? Why? Because you're repulsed by it on some level. And, you know, the CIA would want you to call that homophobia or whomever, right? Whoever invented that stupid ass term. Because ain't nobody scared of gay people. But we are naturally repulsed by anal sex. Why? Because shit is gross. It doesn't matter if you're a woman taking it up the ass or if you're a gay guy taking it up the ass. Shit is fucking gross, right? There's nothing homophobic about that, if that even exists. It's just fucking gross. Why? Well, probably because we're anal. And we, I mean, you know. That's why we wipe our ass so goddamn much. That's why we wash our ass, those of us that do, right? Because shit is fucking nasty. And then there's people who put that on their genitalia, you know, men who put that on their penises. Like, that's, you tell me that ain't gross? Right? Like, really? Have you lost your mind? So it's, it's not homophobic. It, what Frank does is fucking disgusting, okay? And, you know, if a woman does the same shit... It's disgusting too. So it's not homophobic. It's fucking gross. It's repulsive. All right? And you know it is because when I talk about it, you have a knee jerk reaction and you want to attack me for speaking the fucking truth. Shocking. How shocking. So while Frank was taking it up the ass and sucking dick, he was projecting that onto other people, right? While Frank wasn't trying to put anybody on and was just hating on everybody out there. Anybody that had more subscribers than him or even, you know, anywhere close to his subscriber base. He was saying how people are marginalizing him and not liking him, right? Projecting. So what do you think he's doing when he's talking about Sean Baker, um, Tyson Fury and all these vegan bodybuilders being on steroids? What do you think he's talking about? Him putting vitamin D on his balls? Is that what he's talking about? Or getting TRT for his low T levels? Now look, I'm not fucking stupid. I'm not naive. It's highly likely that those testosterone tests were doctored. 
just to come up, quote unquote, come up with the cure for low T and make a video and get clicks and, you know, be considered someone who knows what they're talking about, right? Because I'm, I'm not saying that Frank is on roids, but, you know, there is <clears throat> that evidence out there that he, well, first of all, had very low testosterone, allegedly, and then it skyrocketed. And if you think that that was by rubbing vitamin D on his balls, then you probably believe that Frank single-handedly, because I doubt it took two hands to put that serum on his scrotum, cured the low T problem of every man out there. So all the TRT clinics have shut down thanks to Frank, right? Fuck my life, man. Like, how fucking dumb. And I'm sorry if you fall in this category, but it ain't my fault. Are you? This is what pisses me off. It's not really frank. It's the fact that so many of you gullible dummies fall for this shit. So, either his T was never low, his testosterone was never low, and he just put that out there to, you know, for clicks and, and to get credibility, something he complained about not having right before he took down, you know, so many of his videos. Or, you know, he really is on TRT and he's just projecting that onto other people, right? Either or, I don't know. Either way, the guy's not honest. That's the point, right? He's a manipulator. We don't really know what's going on with this dude. Except that he's taking dick up his ass. I mean, maybe that's why his eyes are all bugged out. I mean, you press down here, something else is going to have to boil over, maybe pop out. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the guy's disgusting, man. The guy's just repulsive. And the delusion to think that, like... <laughs> He's so desired and handsome, and come on, man. You're fucking mediocre, and you hate yourself. It's obvious that you hate yourself, because if you didn't hate yourself, why, why the fuck would you get all this plastic surgery, a boob job? Why, why would you take roids or hit the gym all the goddamn time to look as fake as you do right now, as unnatural as you do right now? Why, Like, why... You know, the, the kid has body dysmorphia. He does not like his body. He doesn't like himself. So why would I like him? Why would you? When he doesn't even like himself. So, I think he's probably on TRT. He probably did have low T and, and you know, got that taken care of and promised you that it was vitamin D that he rubbed on his balls and for all of you suckers out there who believed it and are to this day rubbing vitamin D on your balls how's that going for you hmm? yeah so I think Frank like he wants to get caught whether whether it's conscious or subconscious uh, whether he's doing this just to get views or he really just wants to get caught, you know, I mean, why did, why is he leaving a trail out there of him being a homosexual, right? Like he could have very easily hidden his identity or erased all those videos of him shoving things up his ass, all the evidence of him inquiring about TRT and steroids, you know, evidence of him not being carnivore for the last six years. He could have very well hidden all that evidence and just kept lying to us. But he was lying to us, is lying to us, while keeping the evidence out there. Why? Well, because douchebags like myself are going to call him out on that. Or vegan gains. That's what he's hoping because, you know, I ain't shit in his YouTube shit. We'll call him out on it and that's just going to give Frankie more views. And no publicity is bad publicity, right? This fucker doesn't care. He's a whore, right? He, this guy is literally a whore. He's been pimping himself out forever, right? Whether it's to a couple of desperate gay guys online paying him to shove shit up his ass or hearing this YouTube shit, taking his clothes off and, you know, 
exposing his suspect boobies. And 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 I know like there's this idea that maybe he's an FTM or this and that. You know, look, anything's possible, man. Anything's possible. Frank is definitely on the spectrum, like for sure. Not just not just in real life or or his phenotype, I guess you would say, but genetically, biologically, the, the kid is on the spectrum, man. I, I've always believed that, you know, him being one of three triplets, a boy and a girl, I always believed that he's somewhere in the middle between them two. You know what I mean? And it is what it is, man. There's, you know, there's nothing you can do about that or, or, or the fact that he enjoys dick also, you know, whatever. This is who you are. I'm... But but th this whole idea that people, like, people couldn't see how gay this guy is or also gay. I mean, he's literally, like, he's acting gay. He's putting on makeup. Uh, and the whole towel check, like, come on, man. Like, we don't know that there's makeup that doesn't rub off. It's waterproof especially design makeup like we don't know that shit but then he's also blatantly getting made up and, and turned into a girl he's talking about having sex with guys basically wanting to have sex with guys on his live stream i mean he's literally dragging what looks like another man or at the very least a dyke into a cave with a string of sausages yeah i mean come on like can, can it be any obvious how fucking dumb are you those of you that are you know what i mean so it was always obvious that the guy was at least also gay that he is a whore he i mean he admits that he will do he will sell out for money i mean he he's done that before he's he's always getting naked and exposing himself and pimping himself out basically like it's it's just always been so obvious that the guy is a whore and he will do anything for views just about anything for views so i don't necessarily believe that he's just getting caught and exposed and and it's all against his will i think on some level he, he either wants to get caught or all of that is a fucking setup like his workout video and all the dumb vegans unless they're in on it too i don't know maybe they are uh making videos and making fun of him like really you took that bait like you're that fucking dumb or did you and frank behind the scenes decide to just quote unquote beef with one another because it gets the views don't be surprised man don't be surprised if that's what was going on and and all these people were you know working together don't be fucking surprised if you if we're all getting played by these cocksuckers man because vegan gains and fucking uh, Hench Herbivore, all those boys are gay, man. All of them are gay. Trust me. <laughs> I've li I lived in San Francisco long enough to, to be able to tell you, like, whatever, whatever. Moving on. The gay community, man, that shit is just fucked up, man, and, and just degenerate. And And look, if there is a biological component to you being attracted to men and i believe there is that's fine and you know like it is what it is i'm not gonna blame anyone for their genetics but the thing about the gay community and we'll are a little bit off topic but i'll bring it back to frank in just a second the thing about the gay community is that for whatever reason man most gay men that i've met more than just you know on the surface they're just not happy, man. They're very sad. They're they're drug addicted, and they're perverted, man. Like they they're just sex addicts. They're drug and sex addicts. There's for whatever reason, and and you could blame society a little bit, I guess. Even though in this day and age, with the gay being put on the pedestal, you really have to wonder why they still have these psychological problems, right? Maybe it's because they're just demented and degenerate for whatever reason right and and it has nothing to do with society but for whatever reason 
the gay community has this dark side where pedophilia is accepted. There's a lot of drug use, you know, infidelity, promiscuity, and just nasty shit that goes on. You know what I mean? Disease and, and just, you know, just to be blunt, fucking feces on, on your dick. Like, it's just it's disgusting shit, right? For whatever reason, there is a huge component of the gay community that's degenerate. And I'm not even talking about men having sex with one another, even though I know a lot of you will call that a degeneracy too. And I won't argue with that, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm looking at the stuff that's without question degenerate. The drug use, the promiscuity, the pedophilia, right? Like every single gay man that I've known a little bit, like, as a friend at least, right, or, or I've known a little bit more about than just what you know about, like, people, your neighbors on the surface, right? Every single one of them had a thing for fucking twinks. But they, they were all attracted and wanted to have sex, and a lot of them did with minors. Like, what's that about, right? It's just this... Sexual addiction, inability to control yourselves, and all of them, all of them, fuck or want to fuck women too. It's just like this insatiable, they just can't control their sexual urges, that's what it is. And, you know, wh wh where's the limit? Okay, you want to have sex with people, uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that, you want to sex, have sex with men, okay, that's a little weird, kind of borderline, sure. As long as they're into it. But then you take that on to wanting to violate kids, minors. And what's fucking next? Animals? Like, where does this stop? It's just, it just seems like this insatiable sexual appetite. It's not really about whether it's a man or a woman. It's really just about sticking your dick in a hole, whatever that hole may be. That's, sorry, but like from what I've seen in a, in a homosexual community, that's, when it comes to men, gay men, it really doesn't matter if it's a man or a woman. They're just, they just, they're just degenerates, man. And I'm not saying all gay men are like that, you know, but they just want to stick it in anything that moves. And, and, you know, probably not. As I'm sure some of them are necrophiliacs too. Like, where does it stop is basically what I'm saying, right? And, you know, so when you look at someone like Frank, who is definitely part of that community, who is a whore, who does turn tricks online for money, right? And so he's obviously, like, obviously a gay guy. And, and then he talks about having insomnia. The first thing that comes to my mind, well, two things, is Crystal and Tina, and if, and if you don't know what I just said, then maybe you shouldn't have an opinion about what it is that I'm talking about, right? Methamphetamine, speed, just about every single goddamn gay guy that I've known was addicted to it at some point in their life, right? For whatever reason. And then you look at Frank's bugged out eyes, and I know a lot of you want to say that, well, it's genetic. He was born this way. Maybe he was. Maybe it's because he's a fucking junkie. Is it really that hard to fathom that he could be? Get out of here, man. I mean, everything about this dude is fake. He's a complete manipulator. He projects that which he is onto other people. Uh, drug user. Allegedly, in my opinion. Drug user, sexual degenerate. Um... You know, just a shitty fucking person. Everything that he projects onto other people, it's that's that's exactly who he is. And his whole channel is just charged sexually. Like it's just he's just a fucking sexual degenerate, man. You know what I mean? And so for anyone to, to come out and say that Frank's sexuality is none of our business, how fucking deaf, dumb and blind can you be? Seriously. 
Like, what, what sort of denial do you live in? What is it that you do to yourself to numb yourself so much that you can't see the forest from the fucking trees, man? Anyway. Sometimes, when I look at this dude and, and like, his facial tics and mannerisms and the way he talks... I get the sense that he's a fucking cyborg, a robot. Like, there's just something so fake about him. And I know he's reading and, you know, all his videos are scripted and fake. And, and he's just a terrible actor on top of that. Like, I know. But it's just something transhuman about this kid. You know what I mean? With all the with all the plastic surgery and, and probably steroids, allegedly, exogenous testosterone, right? And, and you know, the fake tans or, or whatever the hell you want to call it, man. Like, this, just the makeup. And then you look at the way he gesticulates and moves and how robotic he is, right? There's something, there's something really cyborg-like about this dude transhuman right this is this is why frank sells this is why the algorithm likes frank and no i'm not fucking jealous you numb nuts you should, you should think i want to be some kind of fucking youtube superstar you, you think youtube is what pays my bills really really like fucking people are so fucking dumb man that's what pisses me off but anything anyway there's just something so fake about this dude and and contrived and I sometimes think he's, like, not even human. You know what I mean? Like, look at this. How to be healthy. Be healthy now. I mean, the kid thinks he's God. He has a God complex. Look look at this. These cringeworthy fucking thumbnails. Okay, so, so this is when Frank was bodybuilding, right? This is when he was trying to be as big as possible naturally. And look at him now, right? Years later. When he's no longer a bodybuilder. And how much bigger he is, right? Look at how his testosterone just skyrocketed, allegedly. Yeah, that's all natural, for sure. Everybody else is on steroids, just, just not Frank. I mean... Look, personally, I, I think he's a manipulator. I think he's just conning people. I think he wants to be part of all these controversies. He likes that people think that he's on roids, whether he is or isn't. He likes that people are talking about his sexual degeneracy. He just wants people to talk about him. He just, he really, he really just wants a hug. You know what I mean? He And and whether it is approval or disapproval, as long as you're watching, he doesn't really care, right? He's just a whore. Whether, you know, you treat him good or you slap him around, as long as you're paying, he doesn't give a fuck, okay? Recognize and realize what's going on with this dude. And he's not healthy, okay? He's... Whether it's contrived or not, his paranoia, I mean. I mean, the guy has, like, female breasts. Does he really think that that's attractive on a man? I mean, some people might find that attractive, but, like, the guy has boobs. And maybe he just retouched those photos to to be like that. But the, the dude got a boob job. Like, seriously. Ah. <sighs> Look, it's not whether all of this is done on purpose, whether Frank is delusional or just a little bit delusional or completely delusional, whether or not, you know, he's completely aware of what it is that's happening. One thing's for sure with this guy, like he's fake as fuck. He's dishonest, he's slimy, and he's a manipulator. That's for damn sure. 
So I don't think it's important to really be able to get to the bottom of what it is that Frank is exactly, uh, you know, whether or specifically whether or not he's on roids, whether or not he's gay, whether this or that, whether he's been carnivore for six years or not. And that's another projection, by the way, when he attacked the Andersons. Everything this kid does, it, this whole channel is about him. How do you not see that? Everything he says about everybody else, he's really talking about himself. He's the ultimate narcissist. He projects everything onto others. How do you not see that, people? That's what pisses me off. Not Frank himself. It's all of you numb nuts out there, dumb dunces, who don't see this shit for what it is. That's what pisses me off. Because, again, you know, the reason why I'm here, even though so infrequently, is to... It's to be able to figure this shit out for myself and and see other people be able to do the same for them, right? But Frank does nothing but add confusion and and chaos, okay? He's not an agent of peace. He's not an agent of fraternity. He's he's not an agent of good. The guy's evil, okay? That's just is what it is. And if you respond to Frank favorably, you're either deaf, dumb, and blind, and or evil, or on your way there too. Sorry. I hate to break it to you, but if you respond to this degenerate transhuman evil favorably, then you got a problem. Okay? And even though he used to have good information, and I'm not going to say that he no longer does. I don't know. I don't watch him anymore. But his channel has become primarily clickbait and, you know, a forum for his own insecurities, his own misdoings being projected onto others. It's just become this, like, narcissistic manipulative cringe fest you know what i mean and it's just fucking slimy and repulsive so to see so many people comment on his videos saying literally you are the realist frank <laughs> uh that's a sad statement um our society and, and how deaf, dumb, and blind people have become where they can't see the forest from the trees and they can't differentiate between what's good or what's evil, what's right or what's wrong, right? It's just sad. It's fucking sad. And that's what bothers me the most about this here guy. It's not he himself, but the reaction to him and... The inability of the average person to be able to think critically, be able to think for themselves and see Frank for that which he is. Not whether or not he's gay, not whether or not he's been carnivore or whatever for however long, not whether or not he's on roids, but the fact that he's fake as fuck. And whereas he may have been all right in the past, he's become basically all wrong at least in so far as i see it all right so that's my piece you know good luck to you frank all the best to you um i hope you can find happiness one day i hope you can start to love yourself and maybe you know if you decide to Put your money where your mouth is and, and actually live up to this claim of wanting to be good. Um, maybe one day, hopefully, you could actually become that and be good. I hope so. Thanks for watching and have a good day.